we have some more very disturbing news coming out of the state of New York. Check this out from 1010wins.radio.com. New York judge rules NYPD can keep protest detainees over 24 hours. A New York state judge on Friday ruled that NYPD can now keep any peaceful protesters arrested for curfew and criminal looters detained for over 24 hours, giving these our extraordinary times. Oh my god. Creeping again more towards more authoritarianism and, fasc and fascism in the United States all across it. It's a crisis within, within a crisis, Judge James Burke said, the bootlicker. All writs are denied. Brooklyn, Bronx, Manhattan. <sighs> And this is from Martha Danis, Danis on Twitter. Just in New York's state judge denies immediate release of about 150 BLM protesters who have been detained for over 24 hours without seeing a judge. Justice Burke said, oh, oh my God. Highly, highly disturbing. Legal aid, Marlon Bodden had previously spoken out against police for holding detainees for over the 24 hours saying there had been no excuse for not processing them. The reason they are not, exactly, this is key. The reason they are not doing it is because the people are protesting police pr brutality, Bodden said. This is so fucked. And doesn't doesn't make any sense. Judge Burke ruled in favor of the NYPD because of the coronavirus pandemic. Quote, therefore I find it is necessary because we are in a crisis caused by COVID-19 coronavirus pandemic, which prevents live arrangements, which in turn requires virtual arrangements, which causes delay. Uh, so many things wrong with that. Obviously, uh, we, sh we shouldn't, I mean, just on its face, this fucking judge is just an authoritarian bootlicker of the NYPD and the police and security state. And his whole reasoning there, like, well, you know, it's th there's a crisis caused by COVID-19, so we got to lock people up longer, so... What? what? What the fuck are you talking about? We shouldn't obviously be locking up the peaceful protesters anyway. They are <laughs> protesting police brutality, as the legal aide Marlon Bottom pointed out right there. That's why they are being arrested. And... Locking more people up in these cages, in these close quarters, when they're, you know, it's going to lead to the spread of the coronavirus pandemic. And obviously, it's a violation of people's constitutional rights. Habeas corpus. A writ requiring a person under arrest to be brought before a judge or into court, especially to secure the prison's release. Unless lawful grounds are shown for the detention. This judge, this fucking fascist, authoritarian, bootlicking judge, Judge Burke, is denying people this constitutional right, requiring these people who, who are getting arrested for protesting police brutality, a vast majority are peaceful, do not have to be brought before a judge because of this fucking fascist Judge Burke. It's disgusting and... People on Twitter are rightly, um, you know, going after it. If the if New York suspends habeas corpus is not the headline everywhere tomorrow, newspapers has failed at their job. Indeed, um, <laughs> New York State suspends habeas corpus should probably be a bigger n n news right now," said Sakat Chakrabarti. If I'm saying that right, um, I mean it's fucking disgusting. It is so disgusting. Um, Yep. If you don't know what habeas corpus is, New York just gave the cops the right to detain protesters without telling them why and without giving them a right to appear before court. Again, it's authoritarian, it's fascist, it's giving way too much power to the police state. They already have way too much. We, again, need to drastically defund the police departments across the United States, demilitarize them. Use that money, use those resources for programs of social uplift, programs that actually help people, not more money to brutalize communities of color, marginalized communities, and increasingly the populace at large and lock them in cages while not actually addressing any of the systemic issues that would lead people to commit crimes. 
in the first place and how this obviously i hope there's some lawsuits filed against this by the aclu of, of new york or whatever because this is highly authoritarian it's against the law it's it's disgusting and anybody again like that person said anybody who's not talking about this now who is in the media um needs to needs to really check themselves why would they not be um talking about this i mean it's fucking <laughs> what's what's this meme say new yorkers protest injustice new york government you should know that we need to solve this problem police brutality uh new york protest harder maybe a curfew so we can arrest more people new york protest even harder. i know suspend habeas corpus i mean jesus christ again yeah kyle klinsky completely important there they suspend habeas corpus 100 percent authoritarian and unconstitutional god damn yeah macaulay new york is dealing with some shit right now worst coronavirus hub in the world suspension of free speech one of the most violent and corrupted police departments and again we have been seeing example after example of the NYPD brutally, brutally attacking and repressing and just going just completely wild on these peaceful protesters night after night. I just posted a video where the NYPD violently and brutally attacked somebody for yelling, suck my dick at them. So now not only do they not have habeas corpus, in New York, they also don't have freedom of speech, freedom of assembly, freedom to protest. I mean, Jesus Christ. What is this? Um, your tweet rings hollow. Right now, you are holding a journalist Anna Slats in jail for the second night in a row for reporting on the events in New York. No hearing, no habeas corpus, nothing. Save Anna Slats. Looks like um, maybe a... a and this was in response to to Cuomo, that freaking d bag that the liberals were trying to prop up as some type of democratic saver. When he's he's just as culpable in all of this shit. I mean, Jesus Christ! And that can yeah, they can be held for over twenty four hours without seeing a judge. A violation of their civil rights under habeas corpus. You have to be brought before a judge or you get released. So if there's no charges, you get released. Now they're basically just saying, fuck it, that's out the window. NYPD can go out, arrest anybody they want, and we'll hold them as, as long as we want. And this fascist judge, Judge Burke, went along with it highly highly disturbing and we should all be very concerned about this and again this is happening in so-called progressive or democratic new york we all need to be scared about how much the government and the police state at this point both from a state and national level are very much infringing on people's constitutional rights left and right and getting getting really scary out there peace much love